So this video is the fourth video in my Helm tutorial series. Okay, in the first video I talked about why Helm is required. Uh, I believe the second video was about the Helm charts, like you know how Helm charts actually looks like. I explained if you know like what kind of files a Helm chart will contain. In this, in the last video, I covered some Helm commands. I, you know, I was able to show you uh, installation as of a Helm chart. We create like created a simple Helm chart uh, that's not like really customized, but it's a very simple Helm chart. And then we, uh, you know, we deployed the application, we upgraded it, and we rolled it back. Um, and all that cool stuff. So this video is uh, is to explain a very simple concept. It's going to be a very short video. So what I did was basically I took the Helm chart directory from the last video and I added something to it. Okay. So in the last video we had the chart.yaml which contained the the details like the chart name and version and which Helm version are we using and what's the application version and all these things. And we have the templates directory where basically, uh, you know, the YAML files of your Kubernetes uh, resources reside, okay. Now I added charts directory and the reason for that is, let's say that you have an application that depends on another application for example, let's say you have a Java application which requires a database uh, in the back end. Okay, now basically that's a dependency. So what you can do is you can bring the, the database, basically you can bring the Helm shards of your database into this charts directory of your uh, Java application, which is what I did. Basically, I have been demoing using like a spring uh, boot application and uh, you know and I what I did was I brought some YAML files uh, that will create like a MySQL uh, application and I, I brought it under the charge directory of my spring boot application okay so now when I do a helm install so I need to be outside this charts directory and then I can do a helm install spring API release and uh, the name of the charts. So before I run this command, let me show you in my Kubernetes cl cluster, I don't have anything running. Okay, I don't have pods, I don't have any secrets. Okay. So let me go ahead and run this command and this is going to automatically pick up all these um, Helm charts, including the ones under the charts directory and it's going to create uh, the dependencies first and then it will deploy your, uh, your main application. Okay, so if I do a kubectl get pods, now there is a Spring API uh, application running or a deployment running and then there is also a MySQL pod running okay and you can also see there is a secret that got created because there is a secret file under this MySQL helm chart which is under the charts directory so you can basically put all your dependencies under charts there are many ways to deal with dependencies, but this is one way that Helm offers to deploy your dependencies before you deploy your main application. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you uh, in this video. And um, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and please uh, like and share and uh, you know, that will help me to grow my channel and then it will uh, give me some encouragement to post more useful videos on DevOps and cloud and databases and all the stuff that uh, 
that I have some experience with. Thanks for your time. I'll see you guys soon.